Hi there! Today we'll be exploring the species of snakes you are likely to encounter in the Triangle area of North Carolina. We'll start off with the snake that everyone wants to know about, the copperhead. We'll be covering the eastern copperhead in this video, which is the kind of copperhead we have here in North Carolina. The eastern copperhead is a member of the pit viper family and is the most common venomous snake in NC. These guys are masters of camouflage and blend in perfectly with fallen leaves. Copperheads are most active during nighttime, but can be seen during the day. The easiest way to identify a copperhead is by the Hershey's Kiss pattern on the sides of their bodies. These pictures show you the Hershey's Kiss pattern that is unique to copperheads. Young copperheads may also have a yellow tail tip, as shown in the bottom right picture. Next, we'll move on to a species that is dear to my heart, the northern water snake. As the name suggests, these snakes are usually found in or near a body of water, allowing them to prey on fish and amphibians that swim by. They are active both day and night and are a common snake to come across. Northern water snakes are often confused for copperheads and cottonmouths, but can be differentiated by the vertical bars on their mouths. Northern water snakes are large, thick-bodied snakes that vary in color. In addition to the vertical bars on their mouths, these snakes can also be identified by the bands on their body, which are wide at the top and narrow at the bottom. This is the opposite of a copperhead, whose bands are narrow at the top and wide at the bottom, creating the iconic Hershey's Kiss pattern. Another identifying characteristic is the transition of body patterns. Notice that the front half of this snake has a banded pattern. About halfway down, this changes into a more checkerboard pattern. Also notice the variation in color from the earlier photos. The Eastern Garter Snake is incredibly common and easy to identify, so we won't be spending much time on it in this video. It is harmless and can be seen both day and night. It's not a baby copperhead, it's a decays brown snake. These tiny little snakes are very common and are completely harmless. Decays can be identified by their small size, tan or reddish color, and the series of spots running down their backs. The top of their head is also darkly colored, creating an adorable helmet-like look. You are unlikely to encounter a cottonmouth in the triangle, but just in case, here's what you need to know. They are basically the aquatic cousin of the copperhead, usually found in or near water. They are most active at night, but can be spotted during the day. A key identifying feature of the cottonmouth is its pointed, wedge-shaped head. Basically, they always look mad. There is also a dark band that runs near their eye. Cottonmouths range from light brown to black but always have that telltale dark stripe near their eye. Young cottonmouths may also have a yellow tail tip, just like with a copperhead. These cottonmouths are partaking in an iconic behavior for their species known as gaping. If threatened, they will hold their mouth open wide in a defensive display. In fact, this is how the species got their name. You can also identify cottonmouths by their banding pattern. Notice that the pattern of the snake in the bottom photo vaguely resembles a copperhead, except for the black dots inside the bands. The eastern rat snake, also known as the black snake, is a common sight in the triangle. These guys are very long and are expert climbers, easily scaling trees and vertical walls. Adult rat snakes can be identified by their black color and the checkerboard pattern on their bellies. Now juvenile rat snakes look very different from adults. Juveniles are gray with black blotches running down their body. They will also have a black mask near their eyes. Often confused with rat snakes, black racers are feisty little guys. They are quick to flee and may strike out defensively. There's actually a joke in the herping world that if you see a snake and wonder if it's a rat snake or a racer, if you reach down to pick it up and it's still there, it's a rat snake. Adult racers are black in color with a white underside. 
Juveniles, just like with the rat snake, do not resemble adults and are usually gray with a series of red blotches running down their bodies. Here are some other harmless snakes you may encounter in the triangle. The top left is a rarely seen mole king snake. The bottom left is a beautiful red rat snake, also known as a corn snake. The top right is the eastern hognose, the drama queens of the snake world. Again, these are all harmless. Here are some smaller harmless varieties. To the left, we have an earth snake, which can be differentiated from a decays brown snake by the lack of dark spots on its back. The top right is a worm snake, which, of course, resembles a worm. Lastly, we have the ring neck, which can be identified by their dark color, small size, and the yellow ring around their neck. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks so much for watching.